Hello, guys. For today, we learned about the nature of negotiations. Okay, first, we look at objective of these chapters. Okay, so Ajahn Juk will talk overview about our objective. Okay, uh, for the objective of this chapter, I hope you understand the definition of negotiation. The key elements of negotiation process and the distance types of negotiation. And next, explore how people use negotiation to manage different situations of interdependence that is that they depends on each other for achieving their goals. And next. Consider how negotiation fits within the broader perspective of processes for managing conflict. And gain an overview of the organization of the negotiation. And next, okay, first about introduction. Okay, please look at this picture. Okay, negotiation is something that everyone does almost daily. From last week, that Ajahn Jup assigned all of you to negotiate about the fresh market. Okay, that is the example that means you use negotiation in your everyday life. Okay, approach to the subject. Okay, about this, this means bargaining, describe the competitive with lower situation. Negotiation occurs when parties try to find a mutually acceptable solution to a complex situation. It says cooperative and win-win. Negotiation is an interpersonal decision-making process necessary whenever we cannot achieve our objectives single-handedly. In the business world, People negotiate at multiple levels and contexts within departmental or business units, between departments, between companies, and even across industries. It's same your daily life too. Next, negotiations. Negotiations occur for several reasons. First, resources are square and it helps to share or divide our limited resources. How to use a scarce resources to have more benefits? To create something new that neither party could attend on his or her own. To resolve a problem or dispute between the parties. Characteristic of a negotiation situations. Okay. Um, okay, I will check about our record. Okay. Is continue okay next about negotiation that we defined earlier negotiation is a process by which two or more parties attempt to reserve their opposing interest trust as we will point out later on this measure of negotiation is one of several mechanisms by which people can resolve conflicts. Negotiation situations have fundamentally the same characteristic, which are they are peace. Mm. Negotiations 
between countries at war, business negotiations between buyer and seller, or level and management, or an angry guest trying to figure out how to get a hot shower before a critical interview. Those who have written intensively about negotiation agree that there are several characteristics common to all negotiation situations. Maybe you can think about yourself. Maybe you can think about your future. Of course, you will meet this also. Okay, for the first one, these are two or more parties. Um, that is two or more individuals, groups, and organizations. Although people can negotiate, you can negotiate with themselves as when someone debate in their head whether to spend a something, paying something or going to do something game. We consider negotiation as a process between individuals, within groups and between groups. Okay, next, this is a conflict of needs and this size, needs and this size between two or more parties. This is a conflict of needs and design. This is what one wants is not necessarily. What the other one wants and the parties must search for a way to resolve the conflict. Okay, maybe you think about the budget, maybe you think about the detail, and the other side don't understand or don't agree with you. So how to take this problem, how to fix this problem. This is a conflict about needs. Okay, and next, parties negotiate because they think they can get a better deal than by simply accepting what the other side offers them. Okay. Uh, for this one, um, the parties negotiate by choice. That is, uh, because they think they get better by negotiation, by a simply accepting what the other side will voluntarily give them or let them have. Negotiation is largely a voluntary process. Um, we negotiate because we think we can improve our outcome or result compared with not negotiating or simply accepting what the other side offers. This is a strategy pursued by choice, seldom, and we require to negotiate. These are times to negotiate and times not to negotiate. Okay, and next, I will give the situation for your full thought. Our experience is that most individuals in some cultures, so you can apply your experience to negotiate. Ah, okay, think about this. There are times when you should avoid negotiating in these situations. Stand your ground and you will come out ahead. When you lose the farm, if you are in a situation where you could lose everything, shoot other options rather than negotiate. When you are so out, when you are running at a capacity, don't deal, raise your price instead. 
when the demands are unethical, don't negotiate. If your counterpart asks for something you cannot support because it is illegal, unethical, or morally inappropriate. For example, a negotiate for the drug. When your character or your reputation is compromised, you lose in the long run. When you don't care, if you have no shape in the outcome, don't negotiate. You have everything to lose and nothing to gain. When you don't have time, okay, when you are pressed for time, you may choose not to negotiate. If the time pressure works against you, you will make mistake. Uh, or you give in too quickly and you may fail to consider the implications of your concession when under the gun you will settle for less than you could otherwise get and next when they act in bad faith stop the negotiation when your counterpart shows signs of acting in bad faith if you cannot trust their negotiating, you cannot trust their agreement too. When waiting would improve your position. Perhaps you will have a new technology available soon. Maybe your financial situation will improve. Maybe you can get a good life. Okay, please wait. When you are not prepared, ah, the prepare is very important. If you don't prepare, you will think of all your best questions, responses, and concession on the way home, gathering your reconnaissance and rehearsing the negotiating will pay off handsomely if you are not ready. Just say no, remember. Okay, and next. Parties expect a give and take process. Give and take process. What is it? That is fundamental to our understanding of the world negotiation. We expect that both sides will modify or move away from their opening steps, requests, or demands. Include your life to give and take is very important. If you take the benefit, a uh, disadvantage for someone, try to give advantage too. A uh, board party may at first agree sternly for. What they want is pushing the other side to move first. Ultimately, both sides will modify their opening position in order to reach an agreement. This movement may be toward the middle of their position. Call a compromise. The middle call a compromise. However, to recreate negotiation may not require compromise. Instead, the parties may invent a solution that meets the objectives of all parties. Of course, if the parties do not consider it a negotiation, then they don't necessarily expect to modify their position and engage in this give and take. And for those of you who need to hang over the price of your sandwich, we will gladly less the price so we can give you a discount. Mm -hmm. Next.
practices for agreement rather than rise openly, break out contact permanently, take that dispute to a third party. Okay, what is it? The party prefer to negotiate and serve for agreement rather than to fight openly. Have one side dominates and the other capitulate. A permanently break out contract or take their due to a higher authority to resolve it. Negotiation occurs when the parties prefer to invent their own situation for resolving the conflict. When this is no freak or established set of rule or procedure, okay, or procedure for how to resolve the conflict or when they choose to bypass those rules, organizations and system in win policy and procedure for addressing and managing those procedures. Equipment retail service have a policy for when they should charge in a rental to keep too long. People just pay the fine. The, they might be able to negotiate a free reduction. However, if they have a good excuse for why the equipment is being retailed. Uh, similarly, attorneys negotiation of your bargaining for their clients who would rather be assured of a negotiated settlement then take their chance with a judge and jury in a colored room. The courts may prefer to negotiate as well to clear the case of the docket save money and assure some payment of a fine rate than with having the defendants as free or some legal technique. Okay, and next successful negotiation in flows. Management of tangibles. The price or the terms of agreement and also the resolution of intangible. Intangible factors are the underlying physical, political motivation and may directly or indirectly influence the parties during a negotiation. Um, some examples of intangibles are the need to win be the other party or avoid losing to the other party. The need to look good, competent or short to the people you present. Uh, the need to define an important principles or president in a negotiation. And the need to appear fair or honorable or to protect one's reputation or the need to maintain a good relationship with the other party after the negotiation is suffered. Primarily by maintaining trust and reducing uncertainty. Um, about intangible are often rooted in personal value and emotion. Intangible factors can have an enormous influence on negotiating processes and outcome. It is almost impossible to ignore intangibles because their effect our judgment about what is fair or right or appropriate in the solution of the tangibles. Okay. 
And for the next one, negotiation skills. Okay, about negotiation skill, there are 10 best practices to improve negotiation skill. First, we prepare. Next, diagnose the fundamental structure of the negotiation. Work the B-A-T-N-A. -A. This means best alternative to a negotiated agreement. We will talk about this later this slide because this is very important and I have the video to you for study. Be willing to walk away. Remember the intangibles that I explained already. Actively manage collision, server and protect your reputation. Remember that rationality and fairness are related. Continue to learn from experience that I tell you from the early career. Master the key paradoxes. Okay, so we stop the first clip.